Hi, my name is Annalise Heiner, and I'm a graduating senior at Mount Vernon High School for the class of 2024. I plan to study marketing through the Daniel School of Business at Purdue University this upcoming fall. Now, I just wanted to preface this video by saying I am a little familiar with Riley and the Settergrim family through a good friend of mine. My boyfriend, George, and his family, the Burhens, have had the chance to know the Settergrim family. So with that being said, I just wanted to say I can't imagine the loss and the pain that you've all had to endure through this tragic loss. And thank you for sharing his story with me and considering me. So blessings to you and yours forever in the future. A little bit about me is that I've been a swimmer for half of my life. I like to read. I'm a big reader, whether it's romance or mystery novels. However, I have strayed away and I'm reading A Little Life, which is I've learned not for the faint of heart. I sing through the church, which is Mercy Road in Carmel, whether it's through the main service or the youth group. I am secretary of student government and vice president of the National Honor Society. But I know a lot of information at once. I was told not to say who I think people want me to be but who I truly am so here's a little bit of a deeper dive into my life. School has never really come easy to me. I've always really had to work hard for what I wanted. At four years old I was diagnosed with hydrocephalus which is a brain cavity that causes extra fluid buildup and without proper treatment severe brain damage is very present. So when my mom found me banging my head against the wall or non-stop crying, I underwent brain surgery and I was four years old. It was a very worrisome time for my family and I when the doctor said that I wouldn't be able to talk or walk or grow at a normal pace. I wouldn't be able to make friends or play sports. So I include this part of my life because I like to think I proved them wrong. My mother always told me I was very hard-headed, but that's because I knew what I wanted and I wanted to change the world. So I'd like to think that Riley and I's stories connect through this part of us he's right a smile and a kind word can soften someone can soften someone's heart and make someone stay so because i was so shut off from the world at such an early age i like to do what's unexpected of me by being kind and sympathetic and understanding i'm not defined by my disorder but i'm changed by it i will use it as a leap from the past and a stepping stone for my future Again, thank you so much for considering me for this scholarship and sharing his story with me and blessings forever in the future to you and yours. Thank you.